I want to say 2004, there was a need um, to support the folks that went to Iraq after 9-11 happened. Um, a huge amount of warriors came back from their experiences in Iraq and Afghanistan, um, changed people. She said, well, come on down and put on a jacket. So I did, and I got to tell you, it was the most exhilarating ski day just about of my life. I was deployed in 2007 to 2008 in Baghdad, Iraq. Traumatic brain injury, PTSD. I've lost all the vision in both my eyes on the right side. I was amputated in October 2011 after doing limb salvage for three and a half years. My biggest release is getting out on the mountain ski biking. This is what I look forward to all year. This is my PTSD release. I'm actually more athletic now with this than I was before. Skiing with those guys, it is so uplifting. It makes you think about your priorities in life a little bit, I guess, and what's important and what isn't. A lot of the folks coming through, the men and women, come with invisible wounds. They, they've seen their comrades blown up. They've seen men and women killed in action, things I can't even begin to imagine. And those wounds are lasting. The PTSD for me feels like you can't ever turn yourself off. You can't ever wind down or feel comfortable. It's like you're always, I always feel like I need to be watching and um, aware and it's exhausting. This is better than any therapist that I've ever seen because it happens organically. It's not a forced hour. It's like you're talking to guys and I think about things that I haven't thought about in eight years. And it's like I didn't even know that was back there. I have one who I've been with throughout the entire time. And uh, I asked him, what's the program done for you? And he said, you know, when I came the first time and you and I met, I was really going to kill myself. And uh, this saved me. You know, it's one at a time, one at a time. And when you see that, I mean, you just, you really, you know, you can't ask for more than that. I came here four years ago for my first time. I was in a really dark place at the time and uh, struggling with a lot of issues. And it took a long time for me to even accept and say yes to come to Telluride and to the TASP program. In the end, I really account for TASP probably saving my life because I was going nowhere and sitting, sitting and staying on my couch. And uh, they got me focused and kept me involved in uh, the mountain and uh, feeling the, the sense of family. To me, Telluride is very spiritual. It's very healing. And it has uh, helped me move forward from some of my injuries that I received during the war. I can't thank the town, the mountain, and uh, the people at TASP enough for what they've done and what they've done for me and my family. So much of what our wounded warriors lose when they leave the military is they lose their community. And our society is very individualistic. And if we can provide a sense of community, I think we've accomplished more than just teaching them to ski. We break down the walls of isolation, which is a curse on our wounded warriors. I came here and found a family and found people that care about you and really are looking out for what you, what you need and what they can do to help you. People love Telluride because it's gorgeous, but the depth is the people. People like Bryce are what make this Wounded Warrior program really, really phenomenal. It's a work of love. While I was here last March, one of the participants that I was here with said, Scott, why don't you move here? And I was like, well, why didn't you say that in Jackson Hole or Grand Targhee or Steamboat? And he said, because you haven't stopped smiling since you got here. Telluride's just a magical place. Really can't explain it enough. It's something that you really need to experience.
Everyone gets it once they get here. Coming out here to ski with you to after sports program is much more than a ski trip. It's a path to a cure. It's a path to making peace. 